y'all, y'all. Definitely appreciate y'all getting back with me, man. I got a good topic on the table today, man, in the NBA, man. You know, my man Paul George out here balling. He back in MVP mode. We're going to get into it, man. We're going to figure out um, what this means for the Western Conference and the NBA as a whole. How could this propel the Clippers to get to their goal? You know, let's get right into it, man. Um, before we do that, man, I want to appreciate everybody for jump, um, getting on this video with me, man. Appreciate y'all supporting the previous videos. You hit that like button. Most definitely hit that subscribe button. Let's get these subscribes up, man. And all my real rights that's rocking with me, I want y'all to definitely donate to this channel. You know, um, I appreciate that. Um, you know, YouTube got its own monetizations, um, but we need to start our own monetizations with the people. You know, so support this channel, man. You know, um, we take we take time out. You know, <clears throat> uh, so you know, uh, so Paul George, you know, um, as you can see, he's lighting it up. You know, coming off um, surgery on two on both shoulders. You know, uh, which was crazy. You know, in the south. You know, um, coming off a disappointing season in Oklahoma City, two disappointing seasons, just a di disappointing run in Oklahoma City in general. You know, just to say two bad seasons, there's an understatement. You know, and, and then now it's like, you know, when they say um, the grass isn't always green on the other side, for him, the grass is much green on this side. You know, he over there, um, unbelievable coaching staff. You know, uh, the whole team is nice. You know, whole whole team starting from bench, you know, um, to the starters, you know, um, just um, even just management, just everybody just, you know, the Clippers is top notch, you know, um, you know, so just I'm, I'm, I'm watching him, you know, he played against, um, it was uh, New Orleans and the Hawks, if I'm not mistaken, you know, um, I seen both of them games, you know. Um, there was no Kawhi Leonard, you know, that's going to be interesting. We'll get into that in a second, but, um, watching him, um, against the Pelicans, I seen the whole Pelicans game, the other, the second game with the Hawks, I was on and off with that game, you know, um, uh, he was, um, Paul George was scoring. He's just back, you know, he back like he never left, you know, uh, he seems like he's trying to creep up into that MVP conversation. If he keeps this up, you know, he'll just jump right back in there, you know, just with everybody. I'm not even sure if there's even really a favor right now at the moment. Maybe he won't go with LeBron or something like that. But it's it's, it's good to see, you know. Um, I'm interested to see how, um, how and what may change when Kawhi Leonard is out there, you know. I haven't. I I, I want to see how that how that works out. They, they, the Clippers look look dangerous, man. You know, the Clippers look like the team to beat in the Western Conference. Like I've been on record as saying, you know, I got you know emotionally. I I do want the Lakers. You know, I like the Lakers. You know, but um, when I put it on my real basketball analyst um point of view. I see the Clippers versus the Philadelphia 76ers in the NBA Finals. I got I, that's just what I think, you know. It, it, you know, in the East is more of a roll of the dice, but I feel like if all things are clicking, you know, especially if if he's playing in this mode right here, Kawhi Leonard could just, you know, you know, he could just put that finishing touch on there, and that's something George uh, Paul George has never played with a player like Kawhi Leonard before. He still has never played with Kawhi yet, but. He's never had a player at this caliber. You know, Kawhi Leonard is the type of player to, like, just push you over the top, you know. You've seen what he did with the Spurs. You've seen what he did with Toronto Raptors, you know. He just just leading them to championships, you know. The one with the Spurs, he had a lot of help. The West was loaded, you know, so he could only do so much. He, he was in the Golden State era, so. And you've seen what he did with them, you know, um, back in the days. You know, so I'm I'm just um interested to see how this gonna happen. How, how does this affect the Los Angeles Lakers? You know, how does this affect the Western Conference as a whole? You know, um, I I do see the Clippers and the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. I feel like they will have the two best records in the West. You know, when it's all said and done, and they look like they're on the collision course to uh reach the Conference Finals. And from there, you know, it's kind of like a roll of the dice. You know. Um, like I, like, um, like what I believe is if Anthony Davis is not, um, 
getting in, getting into paint down low beast and I feel like the Lakers are gonna have a very tough time against these Clippers because their their perimeter players are dangerous, you know, when you're talking about that's just Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, you know. We haven't ever got into the, the dynamics of Lou Williams, you know, coming off the bench, you know, Montrez Harold, the Clippers, you know, Landry Shamit, you know, Jermichael Green, you know, Patrick Patterson is just sniping out there. The Clippers just got, I, I'm just really surprised how the Clippers turned that whole franchise around when you really take a look at it, you know. With Paul George, I feel like Doc Rivers is playing a major major impact on this the start of his Clippers um career uh, also was gonna be like through this season a few seasons to come, you know, Doc Rivers. I don't know if a lot of people have been under a cliff, but Doc Rivers is a championship coach, one of the best coaches in the NBA. You know, um really really knows how to coach a championship team. Doc Rivers is he's not always looking the best when he had, when he gotta put a collection of parts together like um, how the previous clip is the Lob City era and all that. You know, no real alpha, you know. Um, you know, they got some good players. George, I mean, Chris Paul's kind of alpha, but Chris Paul is a playmaking point guard. You know, he's not a Steph Curry, a Damian Lillard, you know, things like that. He's not killing like that, you know. So, it's, I'm, I'm interested to see how how the positions are going to be when George and, and Leonard is out there, you know, how the pick and rolls, you, you know, how, how how's that going to be, um, the pick and roll. Montrez Harrell and Zubach seems like it's working. You know, I like Zubach. Zubach has really been playing well for those guys out there. You know, I don't think he get enough credit. You know, um, Paul George looked like he just never left. He got that bounce. He's quick, he's quick, he's fast. You know, um, you know he he's he he got, he got the he got just highly athletic. You know, you know especially for a guy suffering an injury back in the days when he broke his leg in the Olympics. You know, you know he a resilient player. So I had no doubt after those two shoulder injuries that he was gonna come back. You know, I I, I didn't see that he was gonna come back at this level. You know, he dropped like thirty six or something in his first game. You know, I'm thinking he gonna come and maybe drop twenty or something. But I didn't know he was gonna come back like that. It's like he coming back like he stole somebody stole something. You know, you know you can't um you can't down credit the fact that Paul George is back in L. A. You know where he's home. You know so. It always is always good to work in any business, not just at the NBA. Any company that you that you are part of, you know, even work work related, it it is is better. Sometimes is is better when it's at home. Some people it works for, some people it doesn't. It's clearly working for uh, the Clippers when you're talking about. Uh, Paul George and also Kawhi Leonard, they seem like they being home is taking them up a notch. You know, they, they're ready to take that next step. You know, is Paul George ready to eclipse his arch nemesis and LeBron James? You know, um, Le Paul George isn't LeBron James arch nemesis, you know, but uh, I would say Paul George, you know, you know, vice versa. LeBron James has really been an issue for George. Dating to his days back with the Indiana Pacers, you know, in the conference finals, the semifinals, you know, the Pacers could never get over that hump. You know, if the Miami Heat wasn't present at that era, the Indiana Pacers would have definitely made it to the NBA finals. And from there, who knows what would have happened, you know, um, but things, things didn't go the way it should have did, but. Is a tough situation. Um, I really like that team with the Pacers and George was in MVP mode back then. You know, now I just see much more wiser, smarter, picking his spots, and and even better of a shooter. He was always a good shooter. It's just now he's just super skilled. You know, I, I like I, I was I always been a fan of Paul George. You know, I want y'all to get in the comments section and let me know what what y'all thoughts. You know, what does this mean for the Western Conference? Um, can, is Paul George finally ready to take that next step in taking out LeBron James? You know, he's never done it before. You know, uh, Kawhi Leonard did it when he had uh, the crew with him, Mono Ginobili, Tim Duncan, and everybody. You know, but I'm interested to see how, how that's going to be, you know, when they do meet up. Their next matchup is Christmas Day. You know, we got a little ways from now, about a little over a month from the next matchup. 
you know, um, get in the comment section on that too. Let me know what y'all think, what y'all thoughts, who may win. You know, stay posted, subscribe to this channel so you can get everything leading up to that game and more games coming up. You know, we got, um, you know, videos are pulling up. Show love to these videos. I appreciate everybody, um, you know, showing, giving these views. Let's get these views up and let's get these likes up. Subscribe to this channel immediately. Stay tuned and up to date with everything I got coming for you. And definitely donate to this channel. Let's support the product. You know, you got to get back with me. That was just my take. You know, Paul Georgia, MVP mode. Um, and what's your thoughts? Let's get back with me. Stay tuned. Be ready for new, new videos and new content.